climate change is going to make these events more, fre more frequent and uh, more severe. Um, a recent report ranked Colombia as among the top most vulnerable countries to climate change, um, climate change related disasters in 2015. Um, and this ex includes not only extreme events like massive flooding, but also, again, as Beth mentioned, smaller scale events that, that just tend to chip away at people's um, you know, livelihoods and resilience. Um, these events, the second implication of these events are really having a much bigger impact on Colombia's economy and its people. Um, severe flooding in 2008 uh, affected 1.5 million people and flooding this year affected uh, twice that amount. Um, the, the recent um, ISDR global assessment report for, for disaster risk reduction found that um, economic uh, losses from natural disasters in Colombia not and discounting climate change impacts um, will increase over time as more infrastructure and, um, and um, industries and people are concentrated in cities and in coastal areas that are particularly at risk um, from disasters. Um, I just wanted to mention that problematically it's many of the same industries that are um, sort of the future of Colombia that are contributing to environmental degradation that um, increase the vulnerability of the country in the case of the floods. So significant deforestation, mining impacts, and um, a lot of the changes in land use related to cattle rearing. Um, a lot of people told us that this severely exacerbated the flooding. So it's important for national governments to consider um, you know, the, the impacts of the disasters to under, undermine other development priorities. 